Funny how the story goes, little hope but bigger dreams. Down, singing louder than the crowd. Hello ladies, welcome to today's video. As you can see, we are starting down in the pantry area in our basement. And what I want to do in there is start organizing this a little bit more, so we'll make it more functional. So I bought some containers um, that I am trying to put some like bulk items in, like one of them is being that huge bag of rice because it's very inconvenient when I need to refill my uh, a little container that I have you know, in my kitchen to kind of use this bag for that. So I found those um, pretty sizable containers on Amazon. So the plan is for one of them to be for rice and the other one to be for flour. So if you are new here, my name is Marta. I am a full-time working mom of two. And on my channel, you're gonna see a lot of videos about basically home management. I have been doing a lot of decluttering over the past almost a year now. And this was one of the areas where I had to do a lot of decluttering, our basement area. And I had done the decluttering many, many times before, and I kind of always go back to square one where the clutter basically comes back. So this time around, what I decided to do is start with actually getting rid of stuff instead of organizing it. So I had decluttered this area, uh, I think it was November of last year, and I wanted to use it for a while before I started kind of concentrating on organization because I, I really like things to be very functional. And in the past, what I did is, you know, instead of getting rid of clutter, I would basically just buy organizers, buy containers, bins, whatever it is, and basically shove my clutter into them instead of, you know, getting rid of stuff. So this time I am really trying to be more intentional with it. So like I said, we had this pantry for, um, for a while and now I know kind of what what it's missing, what I could improve. So I know, for example, the things like flowers and um, rice. I you know I have a lot of it, and I need it to be more organized, so it's easier for me to see, and it's also easier for me to refill what I need in my kitchen. So my kitchen is um, on a smaller size, and I don't have enough um, storage in my pantry area in my kitchen to have all those you know items in there. So I have smaller containers that I need to refill as needed. So this is my solution for it. Those containers are really great for like the rice and the regular flour. As you can see, the box with the flour is pretty empty. It's the one behind um, because I needed to buy it. But I know um, I like to buy it at Costco and it's a giant bag. So the idea is to um, kind of, you know, buy a few bins, try it out, see if if I need to organize it a little bit more. But I think so far with what I have, it's, it's working out really well. So I had it for a few weeks now. As you can see, there is still stuff on the top. It's not meant to be Pinterest perfect. It's meant to be functional. So for example, you know, for the rice, I, you know, this is perfect because I do refill it quite often and it has like a little scoop in there, easy to access. On the other hand, I have the pancake mix that I buy at Costco in those little bags. And I think it's more convenient if I have it in a bag because I can grab a bag and just put it in my kitchen. I don't have to use a different container. And the next phase was will be for me to organize the cans that you saw. Uh, I think I need to buy some organizers so they're easier to access and easier to see what I actually have in there. So I had found some things on Amazon that I'm going to be... Um, thinking about what I want. I am, that's another thing I need to be intentional with is just not blindly spending money because I think it will work. I really want to take my time to think about it. So if you guys have something that you have been using for can organizers, make sure you let me down in the comments below. 
And as you can see, I moved on to shredding papers because another a big project I was decluttering over the last few months was my office and there was still a lot of paperwork. So there are some of them that needed to be shredded. So I didn't finish that day, but at least I got this process started. Let me go now, now. Are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity, let me know now. And then we moved on basically to the upstairs. So this is our playroom slash mudroom. So the kids have started school a week prior. So I'm trying to get into a routine um, of, you know, checking their backpacks, making sure that, um, you know, that everything that needs to come out from the backpack is coming out of the backpack. Um, I need to get them into a routine of them doing it themselves. Um, so, you know, my son is pretty good with that. He knows exactly, you know, if he has homework, what he needs to do. My daughter, this is, you know, her first grade right now. So in kindergarten, there was not much really to do. Um, but now she um, she's going to have more papers coming, more things that, to, that she needs to think about. So some another routine we are working on. Um, and I also wanted to sort through kind of some shoes because I um, have noticed some of them were just in a shape that was beyond repair um, and I like to keep some uh, a pair of shoes for outside when they're playing and a pair of shoes for them to go to school um, so I just kind of was looking through that decluttering a little bit in here you know that I'm a keep it cool with you I feel a breaking rules on the edge looking out with no parachute you know I'm dreaming about us too playing around without a clue on the edge cleaning out with us it's all or nothing Oh, forget sounding more of you Oh, with us it's all or nothing Forget sounding more of you You say it during night but in the morning you just sleep With us it's all or nothing Oh, forget sounding more of you Oh, with us it's all or nothing Forget sounding more of you And this is one of those real life messes areas that I am showing you. So despite, you know, doing a lot of the cluttering, despite of having a lot of routines and systems in place, it does not work perfectly all the time. And I think that's just something we have to get used to it, uh, try to improve whenever we can, but not get discouraged if things kind of get out of place. Um, I think it's um, an unreasonable expectation to have a house just perfectly clean and organized all the time. Um, you know, kids just, you know, tend to make messes. And while they do clean at the end of the day, um, sometimes they don't get to it. Maybe, you know, we came late from one of the after school activities and, you know, I was too tired to even kind of tell them, you know, go ahead and clean. I didn't like check. So, so there are just things that, you know, I am trying to not to get too hard on myself for. It's, you know, it's life. There are things that are going to get messy. Um, I think just having those routines and systems in place make it so much easier and faster to clean if you need to catch up on things. But let me know how that works in, in your house. Are you able to kind of um, establish a routine and system where, you know, at the end of each day, your house looks really good and clean and organized? Or do you have days like me where it's just sometimes, you know, on the weekends I have to catch up or some night of the week, I just kind of need to go through the house and kind of do that quick declutter. So let me know how that works in your household. You've told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I Don't know if I'll dance with the 
lights on If you're gonna be moving on solo Wait a second cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me And I think our playroom is still one of those areas where there is still, in my opinion, too much stuff. But compared to what it was about a year ago, it's much, much less. Uh, we got rid of a lot of stuff after Christmas last year. So I think it is manageable. Um, there are majority of the things they have, they do play with. Um, but I think we did get into a good routine where about every um, six months, um, we, we kind of go through the stuff. So we did it in December and now we did it, um, what, the last month, I think, uh, over summer where we kind of went through and got rid of some stuff. And I know we're going to do the same thing in December as well. Um, I think the plan that we have for this room is to uh, put a TV for the kids in here. Um, and so they can, you know, my son got um, Nintendo Switch for his birthday. And right now he just has it not connected to the TV. We plan to put it in a living room, but ultimately we wanted to put it in a playroom. Um, so they just have their own space. So when we do that, we're going to put a couch in there as well. So we're going to have to do some rearranging. So definitely um, keep following if you want to see how we transition that, that room. And I think when we do that, we're going to kind of have another opportunity to declutter as well. And after the playroom, I moved on to the rest of the house. Um, as you can see, same situation. It's not kind of like the living room because there is much less stuff in here. That was another thing we did. You know, we moved a lot of the toys um, out of here and everything went to the playroom. So there are still things, as you can see, those magnet tiles, they play with them all the time. Um, and we had them for a few years now. And sometimes they like to bring it here um, as they're watching something they like to play at the same time. So this is another reason why I think having a TV in a playroom is going to eliminate a lot of this toy trans you know, transition or traveling from one room to another. So let me know how that is in your house. Do your kids tend to bring toys all over? Do you keep it contained either to their, their rooms or a specific playroom in the house? Let me know how, how that goes in your house. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this list of my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. And this is the couch that we plan on moving into the playroom. Um, and we plan on buying something bigger for our living space here. Um, we This one is from Ikea and we had it for many years. Um, I think nine or ten years. And we probably will just buy like the, the covers, the new covers for it. Um, and we basically are um, buying the same type of couch but bigger <laughs> so um, what we really like about this couch is that you can take the covers off and wash them um, with a dog and kids there's always a spill there's always something and we we just like the idea of putting it into a washing machine and having it cleaned so i think it's very convenient and for that reason that's what we um, 
are deciding to do for for that room however when um we went and started looking for you know to buy it um currently at our ikea um there is basically nothing <laughs> meaning everything is um is out of stock so we are waiting patiently to see where we can make that purchase and one of the things i wanted to mention is that after i went through this huge decluttering of my basement of my office on basically most of the house i am now starting to shift to you know how to get things organized better how to uh, kind of make it more functional now that i know that the clutter i have has been minimized um, i can start thinking about the organization and one of the great ways that i always find is list looking at what other people are doing how what systems they have so if you guys are at that phase or even if you're actually um, just starting to declutter there is an amazing event happening in september uh, it's a free event it's a free virtual conference called get organized headquarters um, so i will put a link for you to get a free ticket to it. Um, I'm excited about the conference to learn. I'm also presenting during that conference on time management, which is basically um, how to do all the home um, management stuff so you can um, manage your time better. So um, definitely, if you're looking for something like that, check it out. It's completely free. They do offer a um, all access pass if you want to keep it for a lifetime but during those dates in September it's completely free um, so if you're interested make sure you grab it down below but you ain't gazing on someone in denial cause you want dollar bills right now but you gotta And I am absolutely loving this vacuum. Um, I have been vacuuming every day. It's so light to use and the charge really holds up. Um, so I did vacuum the entire downstairs um, and I'm going to show you how much, there you go, how much dust we have in the dog hair. And it's still 42 minutes, 48 or something seconds left. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some motivation and thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.